Hey guys, I'm Will from Tested. I'm Norm from Tested. Norman Chan, you have a giant Windows tablet. Well, thanks for ruining the surprise. Uh, yeah, this is the Asus E Slate. E? Uh, EP 12.1 okay. or 121. That's because okay. it's a 12.1 inch tablet. It runs Windows. Let's go check it out. So this is the E Slate from Asus? Yep. Uh, so as you can see, it's running Windows 7 in a tablet. Uh, I guess before, before mobile OS's were a thing, before iPad came out, this is kind of what people wanted, I think, from a tablet, or thought they wanted from a tablet. I, I mean, Here I used to carry a lot of tablet PCs back in the early 2000s. Show us, show us what this thing does. This All is right. a big screen for a tablet. Yeah, person. it's 12.1 like 12... inch screen. The okay. resolution is 1280 by 800. It's actually a really nice screen. We can talk about that later and show you the viewing angles. But basically, it's a PC. It's, there's a Core i5 processor on the inside. Oh, so it's not, even a, it's not like an Atom or anything like that. It's, it's a real... That was the big okay. surprise. It's, there's a Core i5. Uh, CPU with hyper threading and and you know because it's running Windows 7 it's doing all the Windows 7 touch gestures so for example they're in some apps like for example if I pull up IE uh, IE 8 or 9 uh, Internet Explorer I can do two finger scrolling hmm. because that's something that's built in but if I go to Chrome two finger scrolling oh so that's an app work. by app basis yes oh that's kind of lame and if, for example if I go to like Windows Explorer doesn't work Wow, but the window seems to be moving inexplicably. Kinda, like I guess it's one finger scrolling. It's, That's weird. But here it works. Okay, so like, what's the tablet experience like on Win uh, on Windows? Like, uh, you feel very. Is this restricted. a good thing? If it, it feels like there, are, it feels both restrictive and uh, it feels open. So, for example, the fact that I can install any app I want, I can. It runs in Windows here. Okay. That's pretty cool. So I you can, have Chrome running, which I have is Chrome. Cool. Like I, yeah, I have Chrome running, and if we go, for example, we're on Tesla right now, uh, go to videos, we can play a video. Okay, because it's just a Windows PC. It's just a Windows PC. Uh, so how's the how's the keyboard and just general input stuff? That's where it feels restrictive. So when I want to, log, for example, log in okay. to uh, our site. Are you going to try to type in your password on no, the screen no, now? No, no, no. I'll type in my username. Um, okay. You can pull up a virtual keyboard. Wow, that is a giant-ass keyboard. That is a giant-ass keyboard. And it, oh. Wow. <laughs> I thought the iPad keyboard was big. That thing takes up yep. three, two-thirds of the screen. I mean, I guess you can use two-finger typing but for this. Really? Can you? Yeah, you can. Is it, is it capacitive? It is. It's capacitive. Like, okay. www. Oh. Well, hanging just a bit. Wow. Maybe that's a Chrome thing. I don't know. But yeah, there's a little bit of latency. Like, uh, let's go to... And then how do you do like right clicks? You just tap one finger and tap a second yep. finger? That is exactly... Uh, I can't even type that correctly. So this so this is... Uh, like, are you writing long emails on this on-screen keyboard or no, not so definitely much? definitely not. Uh, but it does include a Bluetooth keyboard. And like, the fact that there's no dot, dot .com button, I mean, in, in the virtual yeah, keyboard... Yeah, it it's not a smart virtual no. keyboard. Uh, maybe that will be fixed in Windows 8. And again, like in Chrome, I can't mm. do the two-finger scrolling. That's lame. you got to have to find the bar here and then scroll. Oh, wow. Performance is okay. Uh, it's embedded uh, graphics, and actually right now I'm going to launch a game. So it's running uh, like Intel integrated? Yep, Intel HD graphics, uh, which is the equivalent of like uh, NVIDIA's Ion 2. Okay. So you can play World of Warcraft on low settings, native resolution. Torchlight, uh, which is the only game I've been able to test, uh, runs fine in the netbook mode. You can even turn up settings just a little bit. Never native resolution. It's kind of a touch friendly game. I mean, you can do right click. I mean, yeah. it's basically left click, right click yeah, too. Let's, let's so. and, and because uh, it's built in with the SSD, there's no spinning hard drive here. Oh, okay. Um, everything loads up relatively quickly. The default is 32 gigs. Uh, the one this unit has 64 gigs, um, and it's pretty fast. Uh, so, from so what, start time. Yeah. It's like it's about like 20 seconds. And because Windows 7, there is no auto off like sleep mode. Okay. It's the Windows 7 sleep mode. Oh, so you have to wait that five is, seconds for it to go to sleep? Yeah, it is a oh. little inconvenient. It's not instant off. Kill that rat. I, I can I'm Kill him. To, kill uh, him. Uh, I think I did. Kill him with, okay, we'll kill the next rat. There. there kill him rat. That's some good rat killing. Um, and there's a button for multitasking. Oh boy. So, there you go. Oh, I, wow. can, I can. So it's the Win, yep. plus, uh, win plus tab. Yep. Um, Let's see if I can quit from here. How, uh, okay, what else is under the hood? Two, two, you said two gigs of RAM? Uh, yeah, two gigs is the default. Uh, this unit, I believe, has four gigs. And you know, over time, yeah, this one this one does is four gigs. Um, over time, I, after a week of use, I did get kind of used to the, the you know, two finger 
tapping and pinch some of the stuff. Can you like pinch just, to zoom and stuff like that, or you not can't so really much? Pinch to zoom. Oh. Um, but I did mention it does include a Bluetooth keyboard, which is a standard like Microsoft Bluetooth keyboard. Okay. Um, which is it okay. It looks almost like an Arc keyboard. Yeah, but it, it's. But it also includes a stylus, and this might be the most interesting part of the uh, this e -slate. Oh, so it has a digitizer. It has like a digitizer. A wow. Okay. Yeah. So you can do everything you can with your finger with a digitizer, and there are a few apps. So uh, from this launch pad, I'm going to launch Art Rage. This is their art program that they include. And I'm to um, some Art Rage. Oh well, you can uh, you can draw. You can pick a good color. So the, the problem I always had with the tablet PCs in the past was that you could take notes, but it was kind of hard to read them because when you started writing fast, then it, the text would blur and it would get confused, or the resolution just wasn't fine enough to do, you know, real real dense text notes. You'd end up with like three lines on a page or five lines on a page or something like that. Yeah, I haven't taken extensive notes with this. Okay. Like gone to a classroom or anything. Um, but I do like the, the I don't know the exact uh, pressure sensitivity, but it, it is pressure sensitive. So do a light, do a slight sweep and then a real heavy one. There it goes. So here's a now, now push hard. And then, oh, that's a thinner paintbrush. That's good. But I can get really thin lines. And, what and then if you, you spin around, you can erase. And that okay. is also pressure sensitive. If I push down harder or erase faster, if I get a little huh. light, then it'll take longer to erase. Uh, does this come with like OneNote or anything like that? Or it doesn't so come much? with OneNote. Uh, this version does have uh, Office, but it does have Windows Journal. Okay. So that's the next app I'll show you. And Windows Journal, uh, let's actually try taking some notes. So for example- Do you mean to dictate? Dictate and see how well I can, uh, let's see where my penmanship is. I, I don't think I've actually written on paper in months, maybe years. Like, okay. For long periods of time, paper is not so, something you use. No, no, I, I, we, I live in a paperless world. Okay, and so this is virtual paper. Maybe. It'll, it'll okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna dictate, uh, write that Will Smith is the most awesome person I know. Hmm, this is legible at least. A little slow. Oh, well, Whoa! Maybe I hit the button. That okay. seems like a... Uh, sincerely, Norman Chan. Hmm. I don't know if I want to write that. Oh, come on. That's not my signature. Um, okay, so how much does all this awesome cost? Uh, the base price is about $1,100. Oh, boy. Um, that's for the 32 gig um, SSD model with uh, four gig or two gigs of RAM. And uh, I think it goes up to like fourteen hundred. Uh, it's not actually sold right now. Does two finger swiping not work in the journal app? No, nope, oh, it's not. My, uh, that's not. Kind of to go down, maybe pay two pages. This is a history class. So this seems this seems like a product that is. Um, I, I, I'm not particularly impressed by what I've seen of this so far. Well, it's it's not for us, and even for, like what, I've seen a lot of people, students with iPads, trying to take notes with iPads. Well, that's a bad fingers. idea too. That's a bad idea. At least you can do that here. Uh, it's not that heavy. It's like two and a half pounds. Hmm. Which how's the battery? And but that's the thing. Uh, it is the battery is crap. So it's, you have to plug it, keep it plugged in all the pretty time. Pretty much. I think right now I'm on. Uh, 50% battery. I'm on high performance, even a balanced battery. Uh, I couldn't get more than like three and a half hours. And, and watching Ooh. a movie, you're gonna get pretty much like at most two hours. You'll maybe get the movie yeah. like if it's a short movie. Yes. Um, and it starts at 1100 bucks. And what was the this as configured? This, this is the four gig with the double SSD. I'm not exactly sure. I think it's around 1400. Oh wow. It's not being sold at many retailers, so it's it's actually sold out in a lot of places. Mm. Um, but it is a fully functional. Windows PC, like if you want to play Hulu. This is like that, eight, I mean, this is the equivalent. They showed these on CES, at the stage of CES a few years ago uh, with this and the HP Slate and all those. This, this, yeah, is, this is, is Slate. This is a Slate, slate yeah. computing. I, I, I mean, but, well, let's go back to the bricks. Yeah. So that was not an awesome looking no. demo of this product. I, I think what this really shows is that people don't necessarily want Windows on a tablet form, at least Windows as it is right now. Like, do you remember what the world was like before iPad one came out. No, it's, it's gone. I can't, you can't remember. I, I mean, I remember the, the Nexus happened, right? We were all in the Nexus now. But, well, before the iPad came out, people didn't know what they wanted in tablets. A lot of people yeah. did say they wanted like Windows. You want a real PC, right? You can run apps, and this is pretty much what that is. A lot of people it's, still it's, say that. Well, this tablet may be for them. Yeah. I mean, it's it's works. Windows seven runs really well. The apps that can run. It's got a real CPU. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a notebook. It's yeah. not like a netbook. It's like a real notebook 
So the screen is one of the most impressive things about the device. It's a 12.1 inch screen. It looks really pretty. It's an IPS panel. Uh, I'm not sure if it's IPS or just uh, regular TFT LCD, but it does have Gorilla Glass on top. The viewing angles are really nice, pretty much almost 180. The colors look really good. I mean, it's, we haven't run Display Mate on it, but it, it basically, it, it looks as good as the iPad 2 screen or better from a kind of quick look estimation at it. There are two USB ports. It's actually a little hard to pull out these USB port shields. Oh, that's a weird um, design. And then there's an SD card slot here, which you have to depress, pull out. Um, oh, Whoa, and that's you have gone. Mini HDMI, volume controls, and on top, uh, you have some buttons. Actually, you can lock it. So lock orientation, because that's something we didn't actually show. Um, oh, so you can rotate landscape or portrait? Yes. So right now it's locked, but if I unlock it, it will go Turn to, off it will, will, oh, will okay. go to uh, land, portrait mode. Um, and then, like we mentioned before, since Windows 7 doesn't really have a sleep mode, uh, the sleep toggle takes a few seconds. So just like the power switch on the laptop. Yeah, for it to okay. boot back up. And then it'll go to um, the Where does the stylus go, Norm? The stylus goes right on top here. It's a little cartridge for it. Okay, it and it shoots out. out as well? Yep. It's kind of interesting. I mean, it's really expensive, though, for what it is. For even, what it is. Even compared to, like, a comparable laptop. It seems like it's way more money than you should spend on this kind of laptop. And it, it seems like like really hard to use without a keyboard, even though it does have include a Bluetooth, a Bluetooth keyboard. keyboard. And uh, the thing does that it makes this really no nope, doesn't no. have it does come with like a little pouch where you can kind of dock it. No okay. no real dock though. Uh, the thing that kills it is the battery life. Uh, I couldn't get more than three hours Some with three this hours unit. Is not so I mean, good. just in the time of shooting this video, battery has dropped from 100 percent to 34 percent. Oh, not good. So this is the ASUS eSlate EP12-1. I mean, it seems like Windows 7 slates to be avoided. I don't think it's a fault of this product. I just think that the OS isn't very good for touch yeah. interfaces. If you really want a tablet where you can run real apps, run Windows, wait for Windows 8 tablets. Might be yeah. coming out next year. Yep. For tested, I'm Will. I'm Norm. See you guys next time. Bye.